everyone, and welcome back to Good Roots Music. Today, we'll be talking about solfege. What is solfege? Solfege are signs and sounds used to represent intervals, mostly for vocalists, but can be very useful for other musicians as well. These sounds and signs can be very helpful in navigating sheet music. If you're learning to sight read, which means to read music on the fly without practicing at first, solfege is extremely important. So let's talk about what it means to sing in solfege. You're probably already exposed to solfege, even if you don't know it. If you've ever seen The Sound of Music, Julie Andrews' character sings a song called Do a Deer. This song represents solfege. Do a deer, a female deer. That song is talking about all of the sounds that solfege makes. So let's look at what solfege is. First, let's take a look at the words. Do is where we begin. Re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, and do. This is a major scale. Written in solfege. You may notice that do is here twice. That's because these sounds are an octave apart, but they do represent the same pitch. For example, if we were in the key of C, do would be C. This do is also C, just an octave higher. This scale repeats the whole way through the scale that you are singing, so it doesn't just stop here. This do can start a new line and put a ray up here and then it can just keep going. It can also go lower. However, I seem to have written this a little bit low. There we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi. And it goes the other direction as well. Fa, mi, re, do, ti. So this extends forever and ever for as long as we can sing the pitch. These represent intervals as well. So first, let's try singing do to me. This is a major third. If we sang it on a C scale, C major, do is a C. And in this case, me is an E. Do me. If you wanted to continue with the scale and sing the whole scale, remember this represents a major scale, so we'd have to sing a major scale starting from do. Let's do that now, starting on C. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. A major scale, from do to do. You can hear that those sound like the same pitch, but they are an octave apart, so they're both represented by do. This can be extremely handy when it comes to sight singing. If you find yourself with a piece of music and you know what key you're in, first assign that key to Do. Let's say you're in the key of, and let's change it up. Let's say you're in the key of A. Well, that means that A is now Do, and you'd have to follow the scale regardless. A is now Do, and you can move Do around depending on what key you're in for every piece. It's not fixed. That's the best part of Do. Do can be C, it can be G, it can even be B flat. It can be anything that the music tells it to be. You just have to know your key signatures to make it there. Here's something else neat about solfege. Solfege is also represented by hand signs. First, let's get back to the laptop cam. Here we go. I'm going to have to stand up for this part, so it's going to look a little bit strange. But this way you can see how the hand signs go up and down my body to represent the pitch going up and down. First, from a standing position, we take our hand and put it close to our belly button. With the fist closed and with your thumb facing your gut, this is Do. Then you take one little step higher and go to Re by extending your hand up in a kind of a 45 degree angle fashion, your thumb still facing your gut. Me, you just flatten out and get a little bit higher. Fa is a bit of a strange one. You put your thumb down with your fingers curled, and the back of your hand facing your chest. For so, we flip our hand over and put our palm facing our chest. 
You'll notice I'm moving higher with every pitch. This is so you can track the pitch as it moves. La is a lazy C kind of flipped over. T, you make a ring with the rest of your fingers, but your pointer sticks up at an angle. And then we're back to Do. The same hand symbol we used at our gut. So if we sang the scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, you'll notice that we're going further up our body. This helps you track the pitch as you sing, and it's very helpful. But what if we want to jump around? Well, that's okay too. Do, Mi, So, Mi, Do, you just move to the appropriate part of your body. This is very, very helpful for keeping track of pitch when you sing. Many times my vocal students will reach for a note with their head. They'll try to extend their neck like they're giraffes, but you really can't do that. I encourage every singer, if they're struggling with a note, to use their hands to point at it. Really reach for it with your hand instead. This might not make for the greatest stage presence, but for practicing, it's absolutely one of the best techniques you can do. Now you can do it with solfege. So don't forget to remember your solfege symbols. Your solfege symbols are very important whenever you sing, sight read, or help guide others through a song. Thank you for joining us here today for Soulfish with Good Roots Music. Hope you have a wonderful day, and remember, keep on practicing.